Let's continue our refactoring. One of the issues you're going to run into is this, that if you give, well, if they go to the page without any parameters, you're going to get an empty page, right? You'll think, well, the app is broken. But if you just click on there, it's going to load. Let's reduce friction by making this easier. There's a couple of ways to do this, right? So we can do something on uh, page load. So when the page is loaded, we what we want to do is set the state. And we're going to set the state of the index. We're going to call it here. Uh, let's create a new one. So this is going to be a nav. And it's just going to be here, the nav. All right. And that one, that value is going to be um, whatever it gets from the URL. Right. So we can do the same thing, get data from URL. And we say uh, V. And again, if you set it to nav, everything's going to happen automatically. It doesn't complain. So just watch out. If you, if you get to this part here, it's saying those types are incompatible because it's evaluating to a text. And we want it to evaluate to a nav, right? So since it evaluates a nav, it's going to show up. Right? And with that, you know, having this in the index, uh, so this is going to update the, the state, we then can move to the page. And in here, we set a default. So we're going to say, look, if there is nothing on the parameters, just set it to, to dashboard. And the other couple of things we have to do is that we're going to have to aim this. Instead of getting the page directly, we want to get it from the index. So let me go here, index, nav is, and what is this one? Dashboard, right? So we're just going to copy this. We're going to apply it, refactor it in all of them. And we can continue building from here on out, so users. So now, if I go to the page and it's empty, at least it's going to load the dashboard, right? So let me just show you here. So it's now showing ships. And if I refresh it, it's there, right? And it work the same way, right? So this is a nice little... Um, small little tweak uh, but very useful right and the other thing too is that as you keep this information on the index on the uh, on the state of the page you can not only have this thing that you can set a default value uh, but you can also do uh, some other things with it let's say that um, you know you, you allow your uh, uh, your user to set the default page right so uh, maybe you can do something like that if um, if the user, you know, if it loads up and the user has nothing on their uh, user default state, it's going to load the index, otherwise load whatever else. Right? So this is a nice little uh, tweak here.